just get going. Um, so I actually did mine on like an inspirational, influential figure that I really admire. Um, his name is Elon Musk. If you guys haven't heard of Elon Musk, you should absolutely try to get to know who he is because he's probably going to be the one, one of the most influential people in your lifetime, I think. Anyway, so I'm just going to kind of tell you a little bit about him just to kind of how that leads into how he inspires me. Basically, Elon Musk is, he's like an entrepreneur, um, engineer, inventor, philanthropist. He's worth about 20 billion, they say, net worth right about now. Um, he founded companies, like he had, he founded a company when, at the, in 2002 that he sold for 350 million. He then took that money and started up a company called X.com, which later became PayPal. And he used that, and then actually eBay bought that which later he made $165 million off of that. And then he actually went on to found uh, SpaceX, which is one of the like private, basically, space company that you guys have heard of. Um, he also founded uh, Tesla. You guys heard of that? It's a, it's a car company based on like just batteries, and he basically had to like invent his own type of battery from like... Anyway, he's like a genius, and he, he founded all these different companies. Um, what I really love about uh, Elon Musk, like I could talk about him for hours, but uh, he, he basically, he did other things, basically, like there's this Hyperloop system that he invented, or that he kind of came up with that basically is gonna change the way that we travel from city to city. Um, and he's also, right now, he's, he did another couple things. Um, one is called, it's called the Boring Company. Basically, he's building, planning to build uh, tunnels underneath cities. Um, first of all, LA is what it's trying to hit first, it's just so it can kind of decondense the traffic so that it can kind of go underneath the, the city. And if you don't think that that's true, he's actually already has videos on his Instagram of like, there's basically cars are going to run on like trams back and forth under the city. He's already has videos of that happening. So it's pretty cool. Um, I apologize if that sounds a little confusing, but what I love about him is he basically. He, like one of the main, main quotes that I really love about him is like, he says, if you don't like change, if it's, it's like if you don't like change, sorry, I wrote it down just so I didn't, there it is. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. He's a, he's a big uh, renewable energy guy, which I really love. Um, he's also, he also said a couple things that's, Basically, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. So to kind of get to the how it has to do with me, um, I just basically I took a couple years off to work and just to kind of kind of get my bearings, get my ducks in a row. Because I took I did three years of university and didn't know what I wanted to do with my life because I hated the program I was in. So basically, I'm after being obsessed with Elon Musk for a couple of years. It wasn't just him, but I just researched every little talk he did, everything. Anyway, it came down to the fact that he basically said in one of his talks, uh, it was a TED talk, I believe, he said that if you're not in the world to make a difference, then what are you in the world for? And he basically kind of compared it to, from like the basic family, like average family, to like the most influential businessman, he basically said, if you're not trying your best every day to like be the change in the world kind of thing, then you're not working hard enough. That's kind of his lifelong philosophy. And I think that if all of us could take a little bit of that and apply it into our daily lives, then we'll be a little bit better. So that's kind of why I like Elon Musk. 